Hello and welcome to today's YouTube tutorial. In this video I want to show you how easy it is to create your production dashboard based on MQTT data with Peakboard. How this works, you will see now. I'm now on the Peakboard designer and the first thing I want to do is put the floor plan on the screen by just dragging it from my Windows Explorer here onto the Peakboard Designer, give it a name and place it on the correct position. So then I also add a rectangle here, which I will put behind this floor plan to make this whole area white. For this I first set the color here to white, the corner radius I set to zero and then by pressing the right mouse key I can send it here to the back. Then I will select these both elements and press again the right mouse button and I select here lock. This will make that I cannot uh, activate these elements anymore so now they are part of the background. As next I just add here a header by dragging a text from the top on the screen and I will just call that here production board. Then I change the font to header 1 and the color of the font I set to white. Click here on modify font and also the background I want to set here to this gray. Alright, that's basically it for that part and the next thing I want to do is go over and create a MQTT data source to get the data. So for that I click here on data and I select here MQTT. Now I can just add a name for that. Let's call it production data, pro data, and here I put the URL of the MQTT broker in, and then I'm able to add subscription. So the first subscription is a32 that defines the name of my production line, and this one is called line A32 and first I click here on enable listener on the top right to see the data coming in from the MQTT data source. Okay, uh, like you can see here we get a JSON with a state and the parts produced in this production line. So let's add some more subscriptions by clicking again on a subscription and first and here I can first click on use data paths because I received this JSON data and the first thing here is that I set the data path state. That means I get the content from JSON, uh, from JSON variable uh, which is called state. I also could add with using, by using a dot uh, some path inside of the JSON but in that case it was all on the highest level so I just need to add here this name of the JSON property. Then let's do it for all the other properties. Now when we are done with that I can click on the top right again on enable listener and what you can see now is that we don't receive this whole JSON message anymore but just the, the values inside of it. Let's click on OK. Now let's continue by adding the visualization part for every single production line. So for that I start by adding a rectangle here on the canvas and I set here the title to line A32 because it's the first production line we want to access here and then I add another text box here which I place in the mid of that part and I will just center this one and connect it to my data source I've just created before. So it's the data and the, the parts of this production line. So these are the produced parts here. Let's also increase the size of the font a little bit. Let's set it to 45 and now it looks fine for me. Now I want to add this signal lamp by just putting that one on the screen and by changing the properties on the right hand I can set up the visual, uh, the visual 
settings of this signal light. So let's decrease the spacing and also this one I want to fully remove and the background I set here to a gray. Remove here this transparency and that's basically it. Let's put it on the right position like, like this. Smaller, so it looks fine to me. Now I also need to connect this signal light to the corresponding property. In that case, it's again the production data, and in that case, the state I want to use to set up the lights. Then, after connecting it, I can double click this element, which allows me to set up the color, uh, the color actions. Default values I set to off for all of them and I click here on the settings icon and for the first one I set if the value is zero then I will set it to on. I need to select your string because from MQTT we usually get string values. We can convert them but this is not necessary on that place. So let's do it for the others as well. So for the state one I want to light up the yellow light. And for the state two, I want to put the green color to on. All right, then that's basically it. I can just click here on group to create a group out of that. And I can copy and paste this two more times for the other both production lines. Then I will just change the properties here inside of that, like the title and the data connection connect that to the corresponding values. Now we are done with our dashboard. Let's click on the preview button on the top to see the live data. Like you can see here, we receive our data from the MQTT server and showing it on our dashboard. If you're interested, I can also shortly show you how we create this simulated MQTT data. This is also happening in a Peakboard project. For that, I've created some kind of a, a timer script, which you can find here on the left. And here I just use some random numbers to select one of those lines and increase the number of it by one for the parts produced in every line. After that, I also add a random number, number to setting the state of this production line. Then I just publish this by MQTT by using our building blocks editor and here in MQTT under publish. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.